Today I am going to tell you about code or coding process in qualitative research and the most important types of coding. So what is code? Code may be a word or short phrase that symbolically assigns a cumulative, prominent and a sense capturing portion of a text or visual data. See this example for more clarity. This is an interview extract of a psychologist about student study stress. He is saying, the children are having stress around exams due to whole coverage of curriculum in few days, parental pressures and to have good grades. Prolonged stress can cause mental health problems according to doctors. So this is an extract of a psychologist and on the right side you can see that I have extracted all the important chunks and codes from this extract of interview. This is also called initial coding. You can see that I have highlighted all the important chunks in red color in this interview extract. Remember few points for meaningful coding. Before coding, read your transcripts repeatedly. Save the brief description of all codes or the meaning or context. Also mention who coded the data and when, specifically in a large project. Coding is not just labeling, it is linking of data as well. See in this previous example, we can merge or link three aspects. For example, lengthy curriculum, parental pressures, good grade pressures as reasons of study stress. So you could see that we can merge or combine all the related aspects or all the similar codes together. Ask yourself these questions while you are doing coding. What are people doing? What are they trying to accomplish? How exactly they do this? How do members talk about, characterize and understand what is going on? What assumptions are they making? Moving from codes to themes or categories involve three stages commonly. At first level coding, you drive codes from data. Then at second stage, you find similarities or differences. And thirdly, you assign a broader category. See this example. In the first level coding, you could see there are so many codes or important chunks of the data, traditional, discussion method, lecture, brainstorming, qualification, computer related knowledge, experience and attitude. Then this first level coding goes to second level coding. In second level coding, what we do, we merge the similar codes. So you could see that I merge the above four similar codes into teaching styles. And then the last four codes can be combined and labeled as teacher personal attributes. Finally, these both sub codes or second level coding can be transformed into a broader category or theme, which I named as teacher styles and personal attributes. So commonly there are two types of coding, deductive and inductive. Deductive or concept driven also called latent coding, which means you start with a predefined set of codes which may come from a theory, literature or your personal interest. Then you can assign those codes to the data during analysis. Suppose you are taking interviews of students and you are interested to investigate quality of teaching. So before looking into data, make a broader category teaching quality and then you can fit all data related to this to this category. The second type is inductive. We can also call it semantic coding. Here you don't have any pre-coded set or predetermined theory, literature, all codes arise directly from the data or interviews. It also called data driven coding. The example I discussed before is the example of semantic coding, where I extracted all the codes directly from the data or interview of a psychologist. Now I'm going to tell you coding frames. So commonly there are two types of coding frames, flat, and hierarchical. Flat frame assigns the codes at the same level of significance. 
It is most common and easy while you are doing manual coding. The other type is hierarchical. Hierarchical frame tells you relationship among coding or codes. It is more meaningful. It may be defined into top, middle and third level coding depending upon the amount of data you have in qualitative research. So I hope this brief overview of coding process would be beneficial for all researchers interested in qualitative research. Thank you.